Now, I wanted to make this video because I've been seeing a lot of stuff about how Daenerys' turn to insanity has been completely out of character, and that's that erases all of her character development, all of this, um, and I just I don't agree. I, I think this has been foreshadowed for a very long time that Daenerys Targaryen is kind of a bad person. And I'm not excusing any of the bad writing in Season 8 because there's been a lot of it. It's been kind of bad. I think they wrote the ending to the series and then tried to work backwards in a time constraint maybe established by HBO. I don't know. That's this the whole se season just feels very rushed and very plot dri or like en ending driven, but that's not what this video is about. I'll get to that probably in another video after the series is done. One, it's kind of in her bloodline. I mean, her father was the Mad King. He went insane, burn them all, burn them all. That's who Jamie killed. I mean, they talked about this. Yeah, that's that is important. Um, she's the little incest baby. Um, those don't always turn out the most stable. Look at Joffrey. In season six, Daenerys Targaryen, whenever the masters come back to Marine to come fight her, after they agreed to a peace treaty or something like that, uh, the first instinct of seeing all of them attacking is, I'm going to kill all the masters, crucify them, I will burn all their soldiers, and I will reduce their cities to dirt. Do we have a plan? I will crucify the masters. I will set their fleets afire. Kill every last one of their soldiers and return their cities to the dirt. That is my plan. And then she tells that to Tyrion, and Tyrion's like, You're gonna kill a lot of innocent people, please don't do that. You once told me you knew what your father was. Did you know his plans for King's Landing when Lannister armies were at his gates? He had caches of wildfire hidden under the Red Keep. He would have burned every one of his citizens. The loyal ones and the traitors. Every man, woman, and child. That's why Jamie killed this him. This is entirely different. You're talking about destroying cities. It's not entirely different. Um, and kind of talks her out of it. But I mean, that was the first one where you're like, wow, she's got a mean streak. I mean, she was ready to go destroy the entirety of Marine and destroy the Masters and destroy every single city and then just burn everything to the ground and then go on her way to Ma Westeros. Um, she's had no issues burning anyone who she sees as an enemy ever and the show has kind of made it seem like it was like a heroic action um i mean when she gets to marine i remember this was i think in season four um there's a bunch of children and slaves being crucified um and then her punishment to the masters after she takes over is to crucify all of them and then later on you find out like not all the masters were bad and and I remember in the, in the moment I was like, yeah, go Danny. She's crucifying the masters. That's so poetic. And then the one that, when that dude came up and was like, you crucified my dad. He wasn't a bad man. Um, and then Dan Harris is just like, whoopsies. Yeah. She doesn't sometimes think things through. And I think she's had people to temper her very bad evil instincts. Um, and just kind of initial reactions to thing when she's angry, but all those people are gone now. I mean, Jorah's dead. Tyrion, she doesn't trust him anymore. Varys is dead. Uh, he betrayed her. Jon, she doesn't trust him anymore. Um, anyone who could temper that, like, kind of angry, fiery doom and demise thing, she doesn't listen to them anymore. You saw that in season seven with um, House Tarly, Samuel Tarly's parents and brother. Um, she just murdered all them. They, they wouldn't refuse to bend the knee, and she just... You're dead. I meant what I said. I gave them a choice. They made it. Your Grace, if you stop beheading entire I'm families... I'm not beheading anyone. Your Grace. I, Daenerys of House Targaryen, first of my name, breaker of chains and mother of dragons, sentence you to die. Cars. Quite an entrance to Westeros. Uh, no wonder they don't love you. You murdered the house as soon as they didn't bend the knee to you. Um, I mean, it's stuff like that. Um, and those were all kind of like minor foreshadowings. There were little little crumbs in the story about that, yeah, she's kind of a mean person. Um, and I mean, I think there were more crumbs for Daenerys going and I mean I picked up on it I, after seeing it for a second the show seeing it for a second time I had kind of thought this season Daenerys would go insane um, and that was kind of one of my big 
my big prediction. I, I recorded that before the season. Um, I'll make a video at the, at the end and see how many of my predictions were completely wrong. Spoiler, a lot of them are wrong. Um, but Daenerys going insane, that was not one of them. I got that one right. Um, so if I'm picking up on it, it's not that unobvious. I love Daenerys, but I think I thought she was going to go insane ever since season six when she, her initial reaction was to burn everything to the ground. Um, and I think they could have done it a lot better in this season. I'm not, I'm not arguing that, but I think anyone saying that this is completely out of her character is, is just not right. I think there's legitimate argument to say they could have done it better and they could have had her transition to madness be a lot better. I personally thought um, it was going to come after she became the queen. I thought it was going to be uh, maybe years down the line. Uh, she was going to go insane. Maybe the people fell out of favor. Something happened and she was going to go nuts. Um, but I think there's been a lot more evidence to Daenerys going insane than there was for the Red Wedding. Um, so I I just, if you really don't believe me and don't think that this is anywhere in her character, I would highly recommend going back and rewatching season six and season seven and even a little bit of season four and five because um, that's kind of when it starts where she, there's, and really note, pay attention to Daenerys's first reactions to, to evil things is like she preaches that she's this wonderful queen and all that and i think genuinely she wanted to be a great ruler um but i think at the end of the day she just kind of had a mean streak and i think that was maybe not genetic or whatever but i mean it's the targaryens i think that was something cersei had said it was a, a coin flip of if you're going to get a good targaryen or a bad targaryen i think that's just that's just the targaryens they're inbred people who are fiery no pun intended you know um this whole season's been very rushed, and so I understand where people are like, this doesn't seem in character, because um, they, I, I personally would have had her going insane since the beginning of the season, and I think I would have had another season of Game of Thrones, honestly. They've really rushed all of this. I think there's a lot of stuff they could have been doing um, that would have been totally in-universe and would have made a total sense and would have made a lot of this just a lot less rushed, but I guess they were trying to end it. I don't know. I, I wonder if some of it had to do with um, Star Wars ending and then these guys need to go write Star Wars movies. Um, I don't know. It's hard to know. I hard to know all the politics around it, but we're getting what we're getting. I'm a little disappointed in a lot of it, but Daenerys Targaryen going insane was not one of the disappointments for me. Just in this season, you've got all the people who would temper that side of her. She doesn't trust Tyrion anymore. Varys betrayed her. She burned her alive. Uh, Jorah Mormont, he died in episode three. Melisande, that made her mad. She's dead. Both of her dragons are dead. The only one left is Drogon. I think she's just angry. She's mad at Cersei, and she wants revenge for everything. I think they could have written it a little lot better. Maybe not a lot better. I think it, I don't. I think it's believable, um, personally, just as is. But I think it could have been written a little bit better, a little more subtly, especially in the moment. I think they probably could have kept. I think this would have fixed a lot of stuff actually if they just hadn't killed Rhaegal last episode. Honestly, that made that was bizarre to me. Uh, she hit three sniper shots with those crossbow things and then you can't hit her at all and then in this episode she burns the entire fleet from behind and burns all of the scorpions because they're really not that effective um that was kind of how i was i was like sitting there watching the dragon get killed and then daenerys didn't go burn the wooden ships with the wooden crossbows i was like just, just fly behind them and burn them what are you what are you doing here how do you not see them uh was, I, sitting there i was very frustrated because that didn't make a lot of sense to me and that, that seemed like they just wanted to get rid of one of the dragons for the sake of getting rid of one of the dragons. And I think they could have used that dragon as the catalyst for her going insane. I think you could have had, they're burning the city towers, uh, the, the two dragons, and then maybe that one had been injured. And then after the bell, after everyone surrendered or something, maybe some soldier is sitting there with the thing on there and then gets bumped or something and kills the kills the drag kills Rhaegal and that she could have just like looked over and seen that and watched and then just gotten really angry started crying or something and then just lost it there also I think should have been shots of her on her dragon when she's killing all the people of her just looking in absolutely nuts and insane and that would have made it a little bit more believable too but personally I didn't think it was unbelievable at all um and if you think it's completely out of the character I would recommend going back and rewatching, especially season six I forget what episode it is um but season episode where I think it may be the season finale or the one before the season finale where she's saying she wants to murder everyone in Marine and then Tyrion talks her out of that because that was the big one for me was like oh wow she's got a dark streak um, but yeah that's all I got for this one I will give my full Game of Thrones 
possible rewritten conclusion or just my thoughts on everything uh, in another video. But wanted to get this out there because I've seen a lot of people who are very mad about this and I, I don't think this is out of character at all. But uh, yeah, that's it. Catch you on the next one.